what is going on everybody this is big mason adams here and for this video we are actually going to be doing something a little bit different than normal so this is a reaction video and you guys know that normally in my reaction videos i react react to fnaf security breach try not to laugh videos for this reaction video we are actually not going to be reacting to fnaf security breach try not to laugh videos <laughs> Uh, by the way, it, so all of you guys who think, wait, Big Mason Adams is done with reacting to Security Breach Try Not to Laugh videos, the answer to that is no, I am not done. Uh, I just uh, wanted to try something different for a change, because for my reaction videos, those are like the only videos I've like been reacting to. So I'm still going to do those, but I'm going to try to add in some more. So basically, this video, or this color test i guess i search one up because uh you can t see right here this video will tell you your mental age and i uh decided to do it and uh also a lot of people have reacted to this so uh let's get into it it's uh so this video should be able to guess my mental age here we go jeez Get ready for a color okay. test that the can color tell your mental okay. age. Wait, wait, this is really loud. I'm going to turn this down. All right, let's do it. Well, I'm All right. A lot of times, your brain feels way younger or older than you are. Yeah. That's called mental age. Mental you age. You want to know yours? Lucky for you, Bright Side put together a simple test that will help nice. you figure out if you're a carefree uh. child, an old wise sage, uh -huh. Just exactly as mentally old as you are. Just wow. answer our questions, write down your points for every answer, add them all up, and get your results. But enough talking. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to use my computer calculator. So if we go here and I press this candy little dandy button on my uh, computer keyboard, we have my calculator right here. So we're just going to put that to the side for Let's now. Let's begin. Question number okay. one. Look at this picture. Okay. In your opinion, which color is dominant here? You have five options here. Ooh. A, B, C, D, or E. Okay. Okay, if there's a timer, I'm literally just going to pause the video. Ooh, which color? Uh, well, see, I would say black is only like the mountains. Uh, purple is only the sky. But the main thing is like C because that's the whole, the color of the whole ocean, but it's a reflection of the sky. So I'm gonna go C. I'm gonna go middle. C middle. All right. If you chose A, it's four points. Okay. The answer B equals five points. If you saw C as the dominant color, it's one point. What, one? Okay. <laughs> that's not good. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go here. And we're going to go one and then minimize. D gives you two points. Okay. And E means three points. Okay. Question two. Question two. Here we have five beautiful shades of pink for you. All right. Which one do you like the most? I got to go with C again. I really like it. It's a really nice hot pink color. All right. If you preferred shade A, add three points. Okay. Shade B leaves you with two points. Okay. If your favorite is C, you get one point. Are you kidding? Pink shade D equals five points. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the calculator and we're gonna go plus one. Wait, no. Wait. We're gonna go delete everything. One plus one. Okay, two. So we have two points so well, far. For E, you have to write down four points. Okay. Question three. Look at this beautiful photo. All right. We have just one question for you. Is this picture black and white? Ooh, this is kind of hard to tell. No, it's not because I could see in the reflection right here. I think that's a blue sky. No, it is not black and white. Let's see. If you think that it is, add five points. If oh, not, no. don't add anything. You've got to be Man, kidding me. I hope it won't start a huge debate like with this blue and white dress. Remember that? Honestly, I see this blue and white dress as a blue and black in a little bit of a, a gold tint up here. 
But uh, anyway, you guys might disagree with me. Let me know in the comments. For you. All right. Question four. I hope you like sunsets just like I do. I do. So here's four pictures of a couple of the most beautiful sunsets ever. Choose one of them. All right. D. I'm going to go with D. I really like D. If I like the that. the first sunset the is so you, add three points. Okay. If you got too distracted by the second one, you get two points. All right. The beautiful third option gives you four points. And finally, right. sunset number four leaves you with one point. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Let's see. Plus one equals three. I have three points so far. Question five. Um, now that we're done with the shades of pink, let's do the same thing with the shades of blue. Which one do you like the most? Which one do I like the most? C, I would originally go with C because it's a really and it's C or E because those are really strong colors of blue. But I think I gotta go with A. I kind of like A because it's like a combination between Shade B, A, gives you a two points. C, and E. Dreamy B equals four points. For C, write down three points. Okay. D stands for five points, and E means, yep, one point. Okay, so I get two points. So that's let's go back to the calculator. And let's go plus two. Five. Okay, I have five points so far. That's Question not good. Six. Here's the beautiful winter view. Very Which beautiful. Color in this picture, did you see first? Ooh, let me rewind. I didn't even notice. Color in this picture, did you see first? Let's see. What color do I see Here's first? Here's the beautiful winter white. view. White. Okay, I saw white in this first. Picture, did you see first? I saw A. 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 Here we go. White gives you one point. Oh, my. Option B is four points. If you chose C, add five points. Okay. D and E mean three and two points, respectively. Okay. Plus Question one. Seven. Let's make it a little easier. Six. Choose a watercolor. Watercolor. Ooh, this is hard. Dude, man, what watercolor do I like the best? All right, I think I gotta go. I, I like C. The pink one is kind of cool. I like it. If green A is your favorite, write down two points. Okay. Yellow B gives you four points. Oh, nice. Pinky C stands for five points. Hey! Red D leaves you with one point. Original E option equals six points, Whoa. and bluish F adds three points to your... Oh, I guess five points. All right, six plus five equals 11. All right. Current number. Question a, eight. A, 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 A. Look at this picture. Which color here is the brightest? Ooh, bright purple. This right here. E. Actually, I don't know. I'm between if C you and chose E. Option A, four points for you. B gives you two points. Red C is for one point, while D a. gives you five whole points. Finally, E equals three points. Three points. Not bad. Not bad at all. So 11 plus 3 is 14. So we have 14 points so far, guys. And that was the last question. Time to add up all your points. Okay. By the way, if you want to find out even more about yourself, check out another cool test right here. It will reveal the deepest truth about right. your character. But back to our test. Results are finally here. Okay. So we added up our results. Oh, my gosh. I got 14 points. So let's note that in our head. We got 14. If you got 7 to 12 points, mentally, you're just under 20 years old. Hey, I'm it not under 20 what years old. your passport old. says. You're a carefree teenager at heart. I'm 14. I, oh, I'm 14 20, points. Congratulations. You've managed to carry this 14, constant feeling of 14, enthusiasm 14, and love 14. for life okay. for all these years. Keep shining. Okay. If your result is 13 to 20 points, yep. you are 20 to 29 years old. Hey, I'm 12 years old, but I have the mentality. Of mentality. So let's see. So we have... Uh, Point. You're 29 years old. What's 20 to you 20? You are active. Points. You are 20 to 20. So 13 to 20. 
that would make me, so, like, 13 points would be probably 20 years old, and, uh, 20 points would probably be, like, 29 years old, so, I, I'm mentally, like, 21 years old. 29 so funny. years old. You are active, creative, right. and full of life, yep. but you can already call yourself an adult. Childhood yeah. and teenage years are over, but you took the best from them and left all the unnecessary stuff behind. It doesn't mean that you're not hey. having fun, though. Your life is just as exciting as it was. Yeah. If That's all of your good. points added up to 21 okay, to see. 28 points, 21 your mental age is 30 to 39 years. 30 to 39. You're still active and curious about new things and ideas, but what you're does that already mean? responsible and thoughtful. If you think about it, that's the perfect balance between the children's joy for life and adult independence. Yeah, I can't the believe, though, that I'm a 21-year-old mentally. If your total number of points is 29 to 35, you are 40 to 49 years old. Really? You're mature and experienced, and you know exactly yeah. how to live your life. Yeah. You have no time for nonsense. You're determined and hardworking. Determined you know and hardworking. to get it. Continue to be a true inspiration for everyone around. All right. 36 to 40 points. Okay, means that I have a mental... question. I wonder if anybody took this test and actually got 36 to Ages 40 points. over 50 years. And that's not a bad thing at all. On the contrary, you are wise and calm. Very wise and very calm. About, and you highly I like appreciate it. comfort. You're the person everyone goes to for advice. Hey, Plus, you can that's what I wish I was. Trusted. These are some rare qualities. No today. one goes to so me for advice because nobody trusts me. So what's your uh, mental age and how close is it to your real age? Tell us it's, in the uh, comment section below. Well, I Don't am like 12 years old. So how many years until I will be 21? So I'm 12 in 10 years. I will be nine years. In nine years, I will be 21 years old. And what year will it be in nine years? Uh, In 10 years, uh, it will be 2032. In 2032, I will be 21. Yeah. Well, yeah. Big button. I'll turn 21 in 2031. And share this video with all your friends to see what their mental age is. I will share this video you with all my friends. More quizzes and other fun and informative all right. videos. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. Big Mason Adam, see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.